refuses to pay the piper. A cheat I like, but a stupid cheat? Let's make sure he gets what he deserves. Make it rotten. Make a mess. Make him cheat, we shall indeed. Welcome back, everyone, to Mary McGee, uh, McGee's Grim. I am your mad host, as always, and this is... The, and this is the Pied Piper of Hamlin. Okay. So, the mayor thinks he can cheat the Piper on a mere technical on a very lowbrow technicality, even though the Piper got rid of the rats as he promised. Nothing more or less. He did as he did as promised. And you know, you know, usually people take that quite well. Actually, no one really does. No one likes a swindler. No one ever does, because they are considered the most vile and worst of people of all. To cheat against, to cheat someone of their money is well, quite horrendous to be fair. So we will show this er, this this very very avaricious, avaricious and dim-witted mayor is just reward. How else by destroying the very inner workings of the factory he works in. Make it repulsive. Precious apples he once owned? No more but mere but mere rats. As it should. As it should. Now I'm disgusting. <laughs> Also, the saw blades can actually kill you if you're not careful. By the way. A tragic fate, but it happens to all eventually. Also, I should have been more careful about that those hammers. There we go. Doesn't this look dingy? Also, these apples are clearly. Food for the also, I love how flame fire can actually murder you. And just basically kind of corroding the inner workings. Even the water no longer looks satisfying to have. Oh, hello. Vaguely reminiscent of Sans Fortress there, I got there. <laughs> Three flashes at best. Rumpin', stumpin', butt kicking good. And we will be dealing with that rat, but not quite yet. For again, swindlers are wrong and cruel and get usually get what they deserve. Nope. Okay. I guess we'll go through there twice. Fair enough. Because that happens. But fat. And well, as you can tell, everything is not quite as cheery as it looked on the inside. Probably it's just, in fact, if anything, someone even argue it's just as rotten on the outside as the mayor was. As twisted out on the, on the inside as the mayor is being. But if we go out here, here we are back outside, and a secret is now ours. So in fact, to the rest of the town we shall, just to give them the further reminder of just how how screwed they actually are. Show them the er make them see the error of their ways. To think they can screw someone out of their out of their good or earnings is quite rude, to be fair. And sometimes very unforgivable. But there is still one thing we have left to do. Oh yes. So let's go back in and do it and deal the finishing blow to that rat over there. Stop it.
And with that, I will see you all in the next scene. <laughs> the villagers celebrate life without rats. It seems they've forgotten the piper. Fuck. What's this? He's not forgotten them. Ooh, this should be fun. Make it disgusting. I could just replay that stage and make it go And well, now the piper, the piper is left, and the ch and the people celebrate. For there are no more rats. Rats no longer celebrate, or rats no longer plague them, as they say. The people are happy, and they play and celebrate this day without rats. Finally, but not as all as it seems, and damn well it should, because the piper has not forgotten. Oh. Piper never forgets. To sift the Piper is, well, quite rude. He remembers everything, and definitely remembers the injustice that was delivered onto him. As this ominous sign should clearly show of, of your children, the children it is his. Since he got rid of the rats and the pay could not be paid for removing them. He instead will target the one thing the par that parents still the one thing that parents fear, one thing that parents cherish most above all else, their future, and the children. I mean, quite a reasonable price, really, if you think about it. He got rid of the rats and saved the future, not to be paid without compensation. He has just as much power to steal that future away. <laughs> and this is where the true fun begins. Also, I think cleaning, getting rid of the cleaners is a little harder due to the children, I think. Well, I'm not sure if they're able to fix, if the children are able to... F okay, no, it looks like the children cannot do anything, which is good. Because the children are very important, actually. Revenge is my favorite! Come now, let's join in the dance! Make it putrid! Let's put an end to this thing! And look at all these children that have been taken away. Also, becoming in missing milk cartons of lost children. Pray to the pi Pied Piper. Very peeved and very upset pi Piper of Hamlin. His day of vengeance. His day of vengeance finally come. The children he shall snatch up and take away and steal away. To what end? To what desire? No one knows. Only he knows, and he himself alone. He tells not, but only with a sickening glee, his lips grasping his horn as he plays a tune. The intoxicating siren shall play again, one that's not even the children can Make safely it choose. Rancid. Stomp it good! For the end, no one is safe to the against the piper. None are safe to who who try to swindle him. Swindles. But stomp away. F try to trick the piper, and he steal. He shall steal your future away. Don't delay. But stomp away. Ah, nabbed the kiddies. A suitable revenge. Perhaps the start of one. Let's see where the piper's tune ends. And on to the final scene. Piper holds children captive at his mountain hideaway. Oh, sweet revenge. The children are now the Pipers. But captivity is hardly punishment enough for these fools. Let's take it too far! Make it... disgusting. Let's tone down those colors. <laughs> oh, oh! what sweet revenge this piper shall have. Up in the mountains, far away from all, 
The Piper has his revenge, shall have his vengeance. The children, his slaves and captives. Slave to the musical notes that he plays, as none are able to escape. But that is not all that the Piper has planned. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Captivity is just too simple for them. Stuff. This demands something much more sinister. Now I repulse it. A living sacrifice is, ne is needed to be made. One that will induce fear to all. To make those who wrong to them know the error of their ways. To make them understand who they threw up, who they pissed off. And the price that comes with that mistake. <laughs> oh, the oh, they all pay. Sacrificed by the mad. His vengeance complete. All hail the rat! All hail the king of the rats! Stomp it! Whose tune can see? Whose music is a trap? Help me. Pay him well, and you'll and you'll live long. Err not. Cheat him. But stiff him once, cheat him once, and your future shall be gone. Never to be seen again, and forgotten by all. You too, your, your future will be taken, hidden away by the, by the evils of his lair, only to be sacrificed to the great rat. To the great rat. <laughs> you thought it was all a game, merely. That he was getting rid of the rats for good reasons. No, no. It was all but a ploy. A ploy of the king himself. And let his dark his darker side is now shown. The true colors of the real Pied Piper. So let it be let it begin. Let it come. Let it flow. And let That's it all so let it burn. Nothing like a good sacrificial rite. Let's finish these bastards off. Make it vile. And at the end of the day, the sacrificial rites have been made. The altar consumed. The altar ready. The volcano grown wild and I unstable from the sac from the amount of the amount that was sacrificed the bat the mad king grins he smiles as he plays his tune satisfied with what he is doing he knows they'll pay Rumpin, stomping butt kicking good he knows they'll all pay one day they'll pay him back finally he saw their future they have all they have is but to spare they can't resist him. They can't resist him even if they tried. Because even if they do, he'll always come to strike. And why should and why should he? Because he is the Rat King, the Pied Piper of Hamlin, and he gets exactly as he deserves.
Ever hear of the Black Plague? Know what started that scourge? Rattus, Rattus, that's what. Killed millions. Not their fault, really, but it's their nature. Much misunderstood, the rat is. Still, they had to die. And much other collateral damage done, too. Oh, yes. That was the fun part. Rats ruled the town of Hamlin. The residents were all destined to become rat chow. Rats are insatiable, indiscriminate eaters with bad attitudes and no moral qualms to speak of. I'm a bargain, mate. Wouldn't be right you being so close to passing on. But it's got rats in it, both quick and dead. Well, yeah, of course. But only a few rats. No such thing as a few rats. Think orders of magnitude. They come with relatives. Just when things seemed like they couldn't get much worse, a person in a preposterous costume arrived, claiming he could save Hamlin from extinction. I may not know much, Mayor, but I do know rats. What they like for breakfast, what they talk and dream about, who they sleep with and where they worship. Ask him in Berlin. I'm cheap at twice the price. No, I won't pay it. There's only a few hundred thousand left. We'd be penniless. I'd have nothing to live for. Die rich, then. I'll collect what remains at your funeral, if there's anyone left to bury you. A man not afraid to put hair on the head of a coat and threat. That's the man for me. A little crazy, no doubt. But can he deliver? I'm vanquished. I'll pay. We've got a deal. I'll get rid of the rats. Get the money ready. You can lead a rat to water, evidently. Was that a slow boat to China, I heard? Jump aboard, me hearties. Nothing better for the nerves than a calming cruise. Plenty of flotsam. And jetsam, too. Bracing air. Good company. And so on. Probably didn't want to spoil his surprise. Rats leave sinking ships. They're enthusiastic swimmers. So hoping they drown would never do. The Piper knew his business. I never agreed to pay that. I won't pay. You can't make me pay. Leave, or I will have you drawn and quartered. You'll rue the day you cheated me. All you stole was money, but I will your future. A pregnant and horrible threat. But the mayor's a hopeless optimist, as well as a dim-witted cheat. The rats are gone. The worst is over. So, make an enemy of a piper in a funny suit. What's the harm? Where are the other children? What have you done with him? Do you want a ransom? Huh? Your money is as worthless as your promises. I am the king of rats. Your children are servants to my court. They are gone from you forever. Delusions take many forms. He seemed destined to insanity. But being cheated didn't help. Happy endings are an illusion. The Mad Piper's apocalyptic vision required suffering and the demise of everyone but himself. So, screwing a guy in funny clothes with no aversion to risk who makes a living killing vermin who's pretty obviously sliding along the naked edge of sanity is a huge mistake. If you make a deal, live with it, or die with it, but there's no one else to blame when you Welsh. May all our stories end so well. Until next time.